Sean? If you have an older brother, you're eventually going to develop a crush on one of his friends. For Sue, it happened this summer. I'm heading out. I could give you a lift on my way home. Let's go. I'll ride in the front seat. Unless you need to put your books in the front seat, and then I'll ride in the back seat. Or, or I'll just wing it. I'll get it. Hi, Sean. I thought it was just a one-way crush, but then he gave me a ride to babysitting on his way home. And remember you tripped into that fire hydrant? And he said, you're bleeding pretty bad. You want me to get your mom? <sighs> Do you really think he likes me? There's only one way to find out. And they like that, man. I'm not starting over again. Okay, just be cool. Hey. Shh. Hey. Getting a snack? Getting a snack? You're way on his radar. But he ignored me at first. What does that mean? My parents ignore each other all the time. Oh my god! You're totally getting married! Lily <sighs> was not that friend. Sean is gonna love this poem. It's like the most romantic thing ever. Really? Give it to him. Are you kidding? Emotions glinting off my braces like the work of a bedazzler. He will love this. I don't know. Is it too crazy? We are living in the age of girl power. You're right. I am a woman of the 21st century, and I am going to give it to him. Sean? Um, can I see you in the... Write this down. Yeah. Hey, we're going out to get food. You want to come? I want to, Sean. I really do. But my life is way too complicated right now. I think I really need to just focus on cross country. And I hope you can understand that. The timing is just all wrong. <laughs> Isn't that always the case? I guess what I'm saying is, I'm sorry, Sean, but I can't go with you. We'll bring you back some nuggets later. Besides, if I was going to crush on any of your friends, it would totally be Sean. Are you trying to make me puke? Surprise! I'm here to take you to prom. What? Yeah, my mom was talking to your mom, and she was saying how no one had asked you to prom yet, and how crazy that was. So my mom said it might be nice if you take her, and I said, are you kidding me? I'd do anything for Susie Q. You're like family. Oh, wow, Sean. That is so incredibly nice. Actually, the funny thing is... Yeah, <laughs> my car broke down twice on the way down here from Notre Dame, but I got it fixed. And I had to ask a professor to move a big test, and I'm missing my fraternity photo, but I said, I don't care. <laughs> I'm taking Sue to her prom. So, here I am. <laughs> well, great! Yay! Yeah. Hey, Sue! You excited for next Saturday? I was just getting ready to pick up your corsage. Hope you like gardenias. Actually, Sean, I think it would be really fun to go together. But somehow, I ended up with four other dates to prom. So unfortunately, I won't be able to go with you. Oh, wow. But of all the people that I'm not going with, you are really my favorite. Okay, yeah, no problem. That's cool. I'll, I'll just, I guess I'll just head on back up to school. It's a six hour drive, so I won't get back in time for the fraternity photo. But hey, there's always next year. <laughs> Thank you so much for understanding, Sean. I am so, so sorry. Hey, no problem. <laughs> I didn't know you weren't home. Yeah, I was doing a favor for my mom taking Sue to prom. I was happy to do it, but turns out she's got like four other dates. That's what she said. Four guys. But I'm fine. It's it's fine. I'm fine. I'll just smile through it, just just like I smile through everything. <laughs> Surprise, Susie Q. I've got good news. Someone I know is going to her prom. What? My mom was talking to your mom, and she said you didn't have a date. Sit down here from Notre Dame, because I was not about to let Sue Heck not go to her senior prom. 
Oh, um, Sean, that is so nice. So nice. But someone I work with actually asked me to prom and I said yes. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'll just drive back. I might stop by and have a little chat with my mom about communication first, but it's all good. The important thing is you're going to prom with someone else. I am so, so sorry. I really... Nope, that's okay. I'm a Donahue. I will smile through this, because we smile through everything. Okay, well, um, I'm so sorry again. I'm so sorry. So nice. Here, Sean, I got you a potato, too. Thanks. There's no meat on here, right? It's just a phase. Uh... Look these. Hold them down low. I didn't buy anything when I took them, so they're essentially stolen. Oh, my God. Can this family never just buy something from a concession stand? It's all good, man. We're all just trying our best to make our way through this life. Nobody wants to hear your liberal jibber-jabber. Okay, you know what? These are... Who gave you a key? I have one, mate. You can pay me back later. I brought someone here to see you. Hey there, Susie Q. Oh, Sean, oh, what are you doing here? Well, uh, I had an interview at IU for med school. I just thought I'd drop in and see my favorite hex. Don't tell the rest of your family I said that. I love all you guys. Uh -oh. Well, it sounds Where like you do I fit in this world? Because some days I feel like I'm special, but then I think, who am I to even think that I'm special? You know, do you feel special? Hmm, you know, in my anatomy class, we read about this new study, and even in identical twins where all the genes are supposed to be exactly alike, there's this X factor that makes them different. It's like snowflakes. No two people are exactly the same. But even if I never read that, I know that you, Susie Q, are a very special snowflake. You know, it is so great to hear things from a guy's perspective. My dad isn't much of a talker, you know? And Axel isn't always very sensitive. Hey. Hi. Hi. Oh, sorry. Uh, Lexi, this is Sean Donahue. Sean, this is my roommate, Lexi. Donahue? Wait, I know that name your mom sends through those care packages. Tell her her scones are amazing. Yeah, yeah, she'll tell you it's the love, but it's really the five pounds of butter. <laughs> you know, uh, Axel and I were gonna go grab some food later. You should come. I mean, you should both come. Oh, sounds great. <laughs> Listen, uh, why didn't you tell me Sue had such a hot roommate? It would have come down a lot sooner. Oh, I, uh... I've been sitting here this whole time just looking at you and thinking you look like someone. Now I know who. Snow White. You've been staring at me this whole dinner and the best you can come up with is a cartoon character. A very pretty cartoon character. I was Belle for Halloween once. <laughs> Oops, you dropped your fork. So, Sean, are you guys like... What? Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. He's like an older brother than me. So you wouldn't mind if I... Mm. Sorry, I spit on you. That is how strongly I wouldn't mind. Of course not. You go for it, girl. <laughs> oh, I'm done. Let's go. I give tours to prospective students, so. Or you can just go yourself. Okay. Is it me or was that weird? Yes. I mean, I love that Sean and Lexi went off together because they're both great. Yeah. They're awesome. And it's cool that Lexi was being so nice to Sean because he's got that squeaky clean successful med school student thing that most girls are not that into. <laughs> I just hope he wasn't put off by her because she was so obvious. You order a salad in front of a guy, it's like, hello, please marry me. Uh, Sean was the obvious one. You're so pretty, you look like Snow White. Lame. What about Lexi showing off her Ezekiel Gumford knowledge? I just thought Sean had game, but if that's his game, then damn. But hey, if Lexi liked it, then great. That's great. They're both great. And if they were a couple, they'd be twice as great. Oh, duh. My best friend and my neighbor who's like a brother to me and nothing more end up together? What could be better than that? I actually now hope it happens. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pray on it tonight. <laughs> do you weirdly feel like you wanna eat a lot of ice cream right now? I weirdly do. Yeah. <laughs> so, how was it? What'd you do? How'd it go? Great. We walked around campus, then we got coffee. Mm. He's kind of perfect. Huh? 
happy. Look how happy I am. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, sure. Oh. I feel like I'm at a point where I need to date a bad boy. Oh, yeah. I totally get that. I just want to be with a guy who doesn't have his life all figured out already, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know. About halfway through the night, I started thinking, what am I doing? I'm going to med school. I can't get involved with anybody now. Oh, that's too bad. You guys would have been great together. That sucks, man. You guys would have been great together. Oh. Do you feel like ice cream? I feel like ice cream. Um, I think we might be out. 